Alright, tonight I'm going to show you all how to install the latest uh, NVIDIA 295.73 notebook drivers on Windows 64-bit on an Alienware M17X. This is basically the solution for anybody who's running an M17X. Alright, the first thing you're going to need is the device ID for your 260M card. And the only thing that's important during this installation is knowing what the subsys number is, right? Uh, 0 to alpha 11028. This is the only number you need to complete the installation. Alright, I'm going to run the installer and ins extract it to the NVIDIA directory. that's done, we'll continue on with the uh, INF hacking. Alright, now that it is done, the auto installer is basically going to start and what you want to do is just cancel out because it's going to fail anyways. And it will, on an M17X it will fail. So once it's extracted, just go into the directory and the display driver folder is the only part that concerns. Alright, you're going to look for the NVDM file because this is the one that has to do with the M17X. Open it up in a notepad and scroll down. This is just the quicker way, just scroll down until you find uh, the device IDs. You're looking for one that starts with 618. Alright, this one right here. Alright. Now, you just want the subsys number. So, select and highlight the subsys number for 618 and copy it. Alright. Go into replace and then paste it on both lines. Alright, we're going to change one number. It's one number that prevents the installation from actually taking place. If you look over here at your subsys number, you see it's 0 to alpha 11028. And this one is 0 alpha 21028. You just need to change that 2 to 1. and replace all. Once you're done with that, just save the notepad, close it, back up one directory to the international folder, and run the setup. Once you've done that, the installer will actually uh, identify your hardware correctly and you can get the 295 version of NVIDIA on your computer. And there you go. Uh, once that's done, you'll get your NVIDIA, you'll get your NVU, and you'll get your physics software on there installed correctly. So just so anybody's having problems with it, this should be your ultimate solution.